I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Alright, bitch, 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 I'm about my cheese, but I wanna be hot, kill Chucky. You think your bitch clean, ain't got no bag, so she still ugly. Got her out the mud with my thugs, working real ugly. My old bitch got a nigga, won't stop calling. That bitch still ugly. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me, right? Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Alright, so Shotgun Shug, salute to Shotgun Shug and everything that he's got going on. He's got the Fat Poppy Tape Part 2 that just dropped. It's got a lot of good and drugs. I cook a bird like the block for a month. Checkpoint with a sleeve in the trunk of Kaiser. Caught the copy of Bayer. Fat pot is supplier. A lot of music out. Um, a lot of people on the internet. And, you know, have been talking since his battle with Jada Nightwing yesterday. Now, oh yeah, this is a Seattle Mariners throwback hat. Y'all always be talking about what hat I got on, what this I got on, whatever the case may be. This is a Seattle Mariners throwback joint. I got it off of newera.com. Um, so. A lot of people was talking about him in the battle saying, I can't do this no more, or I quit. Like, he didn't say he quit, per se. He said, I can't do this no more. I'm not doing this, or something like that. I got the clip. You know he heard me. Jersey. Fuck, I'm done, bro. I ain't doing shit no more, yo. Okay, I can't okay, do Okay, 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 okay. What's up? What's up? So, with that statement, people thought that Shotgun should quit battle rapping. And um, I didn't feel that way when he said it. Um... I personally felt like I said it earlier that Shotgun should continues to take battles that he doesn't want, like against all of these new guys. He battled against Luizzi, he battled against Geechee when Geechee wasn't Geechee, uh, he battled against Jerry West, he battled Jack Boy Main, uh, Franchise. He's like the entry level, they give every ent entry level nigga him. Um, and they do this with a couple of people. I've seen Swave take a lot of new guys, I've seen Big T get a like it's like you get a battle where we like fuck with you, fuck with you, but we don't really fuck with you, fuck with you, fuck with you, per se. So we'll give you somebody that is got a name. Like B Magic. I've been seeing him do this shit a lot with B Magic. Just put niggas out there versus B Magic. All a lot of the newer niggas. Like, we fuck with you, but we not gonna give you Charlie Clips fuck with you, or give you fucking Sue Sir fuck with you, or give you, you know, Hitman and none of them. It's kinda like a we got a name. That's a name, but we don't, you know, y'all you know, niggas know the politics of the shit. So, um, his battle with Jaden Nightwing didn't really go the way he wanted. It was a lot of shit going on in there. Like I said, that beat, I, um, I heard the beat in the background. Yo, yo, throw a beat on, throw a beat on, throw a beat on. And Shotgun Shook's chain was fucking up the microphone. Uh, he took it off, though, after the first round. And that's one of them things that's like a situational awareness thing. You got to know that. The chains give feedback to the microphone, so you, you like you should know that before you even battle. Like we've done, we've been down this road before. So Shotgun Shug responded to the fact that people are saying he quit. He said, and I quote, "I didn't quit battling. I said I can't do this no more. Like letting my mind go blank in the middle of battles. I repeat, I did not quit. Can y'all please retweet this and spread it just like y'all did." The negativity, saying that you know y'all niggas be spreading the negative. Now let's get the positive out there. You know what I mean? Like get the positive that I didn't quit. I didn't quit battle rapping. I didn't quit. I just took an L. I just took an L. I didn't quit, nigga. I didn't quit. And I don't think he should quit. I mean, we like I got a lot of respect for Shotgun Shiv and what he does battle rap wise. And now that he's uh that he's you know, working on himself, getting his weight together. He's been working out all the time and shit like that, riding his bike, um, you know, doing his thing, and he's doing his thing with the music too. So I don't just give up or close the door on an MC like that. And it's a new format. Like, like, see, he hasn't battled in one of these, you know, the, the fucking quiet room setting shits, you know. he's one, And he's an MC that's used to getting reaction, used to being, you know, his bars being heard and shit like that, and crowd, you know what I'm saying, tax scammer, tap dancer, I do construction work on ad with a jackhammer, like that shit is not gonna work in these rooms right here. And I know Suge is one that has wanted pens, and now you got both. You getting the pens that you want, or you some of the pens that you want, it all depends, you know what I'm saying, it all depends. Um, so, 
you know, if you're gonna be shitting, you can't get the pens. If you're gonna be shitting, get the pen. Let's just move. It. But uh, if you're getting the pens that you want, you're gonna have to be able to perform in this environment. Sue Surf, these got Jersey, Jersey, Jersey. Gave him some advice, advice that he probably wants to take himself, but he gave him some advice. He said. You're used to a big stage, that's not something to be ashamed of. Back to the drawing board. You in the books already, cuz, don't sweat it. And you know, Shug then said, I'm a G, I can admit I need to adjust to this new format. See you soon. That's all it is, you just gotta adjust and adapt to the new format. Like the NBA playoffs are gonna take place in the bubble. People are like, oh, home court advantage. Everybody's at home, it's just all about adjusting to your surroundings. Um, I've seen Suge perform on a high level before. I've seen Suge take people that I didn't think he would even have a remote chance of standing against and go in there and do his thing, like uh, Pat Stay and like a lot of other MCs. I could go down Shotgun Suge's resume and be like, I didn't even think he had a chance to do anything in that battle, and he got he, he got he got busy. So with that being said, Suge, let's let's take it back. Battle with Jay tonight when it didn't go the way you wanted it to. Uh, you was the lead veteran going against the rookie team. And, you know, I'm going to tell you what happened. You got smoked. But you didn't get smoked, like, to the point where it was, like, bad, bad, bad. You choked in two rounds. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing. And we could tell, like I said in the recap yesterday, as these MCs develop, grow, and, and continue doing what they do, they, they have tendencies, you know what I'm saying? They have they have tendencies where you can tell when they're gonna choke. Like, I, I promise you, if you evaluate this shit and do it as long as I've been doing this for like three, four years now, and we have like over 1,500 blogs, and we've been doing this shit for a while. You can literally, and the fans have been along this same ride. Like, y'all, we're all fans, I'm a fan too. But we've been along this ride, and we know the MCs like the back of our hand. And you can watch the battle, you know what I'm saying? And let's say a nigga say, got a bar like, uh, uh, I've been putting in work in the basement since Big Ticker, the Sig Gripper, Six Hitcher, Crip nigga, like if he starts doing that and if he's like, like putting in work in the basement since Big Ticker, the Sig Gripper, the, the, the Sig Gripper, the, the, the work, well hold on, I've been putting in work in the basement since Big Ticker, the Sig Gripper, Big Crip, like when he starts doing that shit like it's repetitive, you know it's coming. Like, we, we know, and that's just with him, per se. There's other MCs who have other shit that they do where you can tell, um, like, like, Sir, for instance, you know, he's like, uh, the drama king, hop out that Lambo with a lot of bling, chop a ring, hold up, uh, hold, hold it down, hold it down, hop out, the drama king, hop out that Lambo, let the llama sing, drama, yo, yo, Jersey, like, they, we know the tendencies, so, all Suge has to do, long story short, is reformat, rebuild, and just be prepared for this setting. He has to write like, you have to write like nothing you're gonna spit is gonna get any reaction. Like that's how you need to write because when you write for reaction, there's pauses, you know what I'm saying? When you're writing big haymakers, there's pauses because you know that you're spitting the rounds to your homies, battle rappers and shit like that. And then you're spitting the rounds to whoever listens to them. You know big moments because you write in big moments, you know what I mean? But you have to like write for no reaction. Um, overall, Shotgun Suge did not quit battle rap. He said he didn't quit. He said he just needs to stop um, doing that shit like blanking out mid-battle or whatever the case may be. Um, when he said it, the, or in the original clip, when he said he, he couldn't do this no more, it did sound like he quit. I'm not going to lie. It's not, I ain't going to lie. It sounded like that. But I thought... You quit battling niggas who you ain't want to battle against. I think that will help out a lot right there. I mean, you, you don't battle every fucking rookie that you could think of, my nigga. Like, they got to respect your handle by now. Like, shit, give a nigga some talent or some... Or you, like, and the thing is, you was getting you was getting them names. You had battled Rum Nitty. Uh, you had battled JC. You had battled Pat Stay. Where did we go wrong? Why are we back to the fucking rookie drawing board? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, there's certain niggas that ain't gonna take no rookies. Goods ain't taking no fucking rookie. You're not gonna call Goods and be like, yo, uh, insert rookie. We got insert rookie. Uh, let's say Kid Chaos. That's my man. We got Kid Chaos for you. Goods is gonna hang up the phone on him. You know what I'm saying? Like, then he's not gonna take nobody like that. 
I think y'all got to have a little bit more resistance in who you're accepting. Because they'll give you, if you're going to battle every rookie, they'll have you up there battling another rookie next week. That's just the way that shit goes. Um, but salute to Shotgun Sugar and everything that he's got going on. Um, he's done it before. He'll do it again. I'm sure he'll clean up his act and um, he'll be back. Uh, congratulations on the workouts and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's get it. Ah! Oh, hold on, man. Y'all niggas be killing me with this shit, right? So, Showtime SP is my partner in crime, right? The man has a job, he has family, and his birthday was this week too, right? If I ever do a recap of an event type shit without him, just know he's probably at work, or because niggas will kill you, they'll be like, yo, where's Showtime SP? I'm like, bro, this is a double-edged sword, because if I don't recap it, Without him, y'all gonna say, Why, where the recap? Y'all gonna kill me with a hundred fucking messages by ways of recaps. Then if I do recap it without him, which he knows about, y'all gonna say, where's Showtime SP? Your Showtime SP? Bruh, like, do you think that he was like, the fucking um, hang gliding somewhere? The man's at work, he has a job. I record from my studio where I'm at when I'm not working. I don't work on Saturdays, a lot of the time. A lot of the time I don't work on Saturdays. So. I be having time, so calm down. We got this. We'll get it done. One. Yeah, my bitch crazy. Always think I'm creeping. Usa made me creeping. This blood gang. I bang it every season. Fuck what's niggas thinking. Trying to count me out while I'm still breathing. Niggas know who my team is. This bitch crazy. Oh, she eat a semen. That's how I'm a demon. I stand tall like the Pledge of Allegiance. Leave a nigga stinking. Brain hanging out. You see what he thinking. Just give me a reason. I'ma show you all my niggas tweaking. Oh, I heard.